morning, good afternoon, and good evening. What's going on, guys, out there? Marquis Walker back from Boston, Beantown, baby. Y'all know about Beantown? Come on, man. Y'all know the reputation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the Wise Guys, got RSO, you know what I mean? Friggin' even, um, we got, who else we got? Ed OG, Gurus from here, the, come on, man. I don't want to stop, I'm going to stop. I'm gonna start right there. I don't want y'all to get hurt, man, with all the MCs coming out of there. But today's not about Boston. Today's not about the bean. Today's about another artist. Um, but he's from New York City. He's from actually from Rochester, New York. And yo, this dude's a problem. This dude is a problem. E to E T O. That's it. And he got it all lowercase. Edo. Yo, that's it just. Yo, that's a fire name, dog. That's like, yo, that name's dope, dog. There's some dope names out there, man. Like Ty Ferris is a dope name. Like it's like dope name. MC's got these dope names right nowadays. Actually, I was talk um on this view this album, and it's a singer on um what's number three? Nothing like you, nothing like you. It's like a um sound like an R and B hip hop track from like back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like that '90s hip hop R and B collabo. It's dope. It's a sister name um. Nikita Hemingway. Nikita Hemingway. Shout out to Nikita Hemingway, man. Yo, fire on that track. But um, let me backtrack, you know what I'm gonna say? So I'm reviewing Edo today, and the album is called The Beauty of It, man. And the beauty of this album, that is dope. <laughs> Yo, Edo came again. This time, like, you know, Edo usually have a lot of, um, I think when he, when he first started in 2017, like with mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? He kind of sounded like, um, like Nas and um, Cameron, kind of like, like a mix, you know what I'm saying? But he was dope, he was dope MC, street MC. I didn't know nothing about him then, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know what I mean? But um, I caught up with him kind of around 2000, like 10 years later, probably like 2017. I think I caught up with him. Um, on uh, He had a, he dropped a, a studio album called, uh, I think Omerta, O O M E R T A, a murder, a murder. I can't pronounce all this stuff, man. Y'all names are messed. Yo, the album be crazy. The art on the album be crazy. Yo, the art on the album be dope. Yo, check the out. Check the check out um his artwork. Like the artwork on here is just like the hands and stuff. It's kind of cool, but like check out his his um his other album covers. So you gonna be like yo, shout out yo whoever the artists are on those album covers. Whoever works with Edo, man. If you listening or reading my blog, man, yo. Shout yourself out, man. Get, get some get some clients, man. Yo, you got some dope art. I don't know if that is, if that's you, Edo, doing it. Yo, that's dope. That's you. I don't know if you're an artist or not. You know what I'm saying? Let people know if you're an artist, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, 16 tracks. You usually do like five tracks, seven tracks. Like like recently, when I started messing with my, like he had shorter projects. But this project, 16 tracks. Yo, he ain't playing today, man. And he came to play. He got. Every producer in New York or wherever they from, they, and I, and I, I can't I ain't research all the producers. Mad producers on here. You know what I'm saying? You got like, who you got? These are the people I know. Like, I know the Alchemist, of course. He did a beat. He did the part on here, no four. Uh, Damager, um, Guilty Interlude, he did that joint. Um, I know Static Selecta. He did um, Rusty Stainless with Willie the Kid and Roman Street. Ooh, that cut. That cut's nasty, man. <laughs> Yo. That cuts nasty, dog. The features over here is crazy, too. So, like, I'm trying to, like, debate what to talk about first. But, yo, let's talk about these beats. So, and then he got um, Marco Polo, I of him. Um, Alien Rose Rosewell. Alien Rosewell. Yo, dope. Alien Rosewell is dope. Yo, shout out to Alien Rosewell, yo. He got, like, two tracks on here. And what Edo did, like, everybody got, like, one track, usually. Like, even Edo got one track on here. He just, he produced he, just one track. Uh, Green Lantern got a track on here. Um... B. Dawn got two tracks. He's on here. Uh, but Alien and Alien Rosewell got two tracks. You know what I'm saying? And those are fire. You know what I mean? So 16 tracks. I think like he got like a I'll say interlude. We got a, yeah, he got an interlude on here. Is that an interlude? No, he normally got an interlude. Yeah, it is an interlude. You could do got an interlude. So it's like 15 tracks, really. It's 15 tracks of rapping. You know what I'm saying? Um out of the 15, 11 is my favorite, man. So this album's Already, you know what I'm saying? You can already see I'm playing the whole thing all day, you know what I'm saying? The album is insane with the beats. Uh, shout out to all these, these um, and shout out to some of these new ones. Uh, let's see, we got Backpack Beats. 
He did uh, Nothing Like You with, this, with the girl I just shot out earlier, Nikita. Uh, anyway, the track's dope. Um, number one, beauty of it, it's uh, Motif Alumni. Shout him out. Um, we got, what else we got new on here? Aesthetic. Growing Pains. Aesthetic. That's one of my favorite tracks, too. Aesthetic. <laughs> but Love. Oh, that's Marco Polo. I think I said him already. Be Don Kells. Kells on uh, Anybody. Somebody be, it's called Anybody. Produced by Kells. K-E-L-Z. Um, and then um, No Reply was Edo. That was featuring Ja Black. Yo, I don't know if that's your, your artist, Edo. Somebody tell me if that's his artist, but I've been peeping Jay Black for a minute. He's been like featured on people's stuff. I gotta stop. Like, if you got albums, though, I gotta stop messing with it. You know what I'm saying? But it's so much, so much music out there, y'all. Yo, it's mad hip hop. Yo, it's mad hip hop out here, yo. I'm loving it, man, because it's keeping my mind busy. It's keeping me busy, man. I don't even be thinking about some of this stuff out here. I don't be thinking about the coronavirus. I don't even be thinking about it sometimes, man. I just be like in the zone with this, all this good music out. So keep it going, guys. Keep the music coming, man. Keep my mind focused, you know what I'm saying? But, um, like I said, Green Lantern's on here. Another producer I never heard of is uh, Winsor James. He did Purpose Interlude. And then, uh, oh, yo, the last track, but it was short. It was mad short. I'm mad. The Large Professor. Come on. The Large Professor, dog. Legend, Large Professor. He was on Nas's album. Like, he did back. Oh, this man, look up Large Professor, man. What? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, check it out, man. Check them out. But yeah, man, this album's dope, man. Like I said, like 11 tracks. Um, it's the beats, the 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 the, 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 ah, the lyricists. I mean, everybody on here, the features are insane. So, yeah, so the producers are dope, so we got the producers. Yo. Like I said, Nikita Hemingway, I already shot it out. Flea Lord's on here. Graf, Flea Lord and Graf. Graf, Graf ain't no joke, man. Graf killed it, man. Graf, yo. Grav killed it. Jay Black killed it. Flea Lord, of course. Willie the Kid. Rome. Um, Rome Streets. Uh, Benny Paz. Lord Go. I never heard of him. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He threw something on there. Ill Bill. Ill Bill's dope. <laughs> Ill Bill's on here. Char Hef. He's like new to me a little bit, but he's on here. And Watts. Watts is on here. Yo. These MCs came to play. They came to like, they was like, yo, this is my album, dog. They were trying to take over your album, you know. You let them try to take over your album, man. Come on, man. Don't let these MCs take over your album, dog. <laughs> but yo, man, I like Edo's um, flow. I like his delivery. I like his, um, just the way he, he he's a, I think, he, it, like, I know he's a producer, so he knows about beats. He's producing beats for people and himself. Um, but at the same time, like he knows how to select beats that cater to his voice, uh, that cater to his um, his vibe, his hip hop vibe, or his whole his whole his whole aura. You know what I'm saying? So um, shout out to Edo, man, on um, just picking a, selecting the right beats, man, and the right vibe for you. Because some a lot of hip hop people go like, oh, this dude's dope. There's a lot of dope MCs out there, but they just bad with track selection, or they getting bad beats, or I don't know. They're just the the beats ain't there, man. You gotta have something, man. Cause like, cause you gotta kind of like, it's, it gotta keep our attention. You could have the best bar. You know what I'm saying? I used to listen to KRS One back in the day. I still listen to him, but like, like I'm just giving you an example. But KRS One back in the day used to be hot, like fire. He was on one of the top MCs, right? Everybody's talking about him, right? Legend. But like all his, like all his albums, he didn't have a classic album. All his albums wasn't classic. Like he had skippables. You know what I'm saying? So, but those skippables. Yeah, bars on it. Lyrics for days. Like all these MCs back in the day they had lyrics for days. Once in a while, the beats just wasn't wasn't good. They, all beats couldn't be good. You know what I mean? So, and they, and just hip hop was kind of still new. So everybody's still getting to the beat machines and learning everything. You know what I'm saying? But their lyrics is always there, man. And um, Edo's lyrics is always there. You know what I'm saying? He's always uh, you can tell he he's a um, a conductor of hip hop. You can tell he's a um, he studies it, you know what I mean? And he respects hip hop. So shout out to Edo, man, on um, respecting hip hop, man. Because a lot of these new rappers, they wonder why they ain't successful, man. Nobody mess with you, man, if you ain't respecting hip hop, man. For real, man. Nobody, man. I ain't playing no, nobody. Yeah. So, um, you guys know uh, I sell merch. 
I got the Kobe shirt. Rest in peace, Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag. Um, rest in peace, all the artists that passed away. Fred the Godson. Um, rest in peace to, oh, Lord. I'm trying to think of everybody and anybody that almost that passed. People that's fighting um, the coronavirus. Um, people that are um, just losing people in general, you know? Um, so, Yeah. I mean, I'm going back to, I just lost my cousin, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just, I just kind of bring it back to me. I'm sorry, man. <clears throat> but anyway, brought it back to my cousin, man. My cousin passed away, man, recently, so I'm just kind of, I'm over here, like, I'm still grieving over here, man. We didn't have, we didn't have nothing for him. Yeah, we got to do the, the virtual stuff, and it's, it's, it's so corny, though. We got to do virtual, like, I don't know, it's just, it's weird, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, a funeral is, like, usually the... Like the that's you, you see the person you kind of it's closure you know what I mean all that's closure that you can touch people hug people so I don't know this is my first virtual thing that's gonna happen this is gonna be crazy I'm like you got me all right let me get back to this album but anyway Edo man seriously for real on the real man this album's um, the beat selection is dope the lyrics is dope I can see how um, your 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 lyrical content is getting better you know what I'm saying because like a lot of people's minds be just in one place sometimes when they street rappers. And that's dope. But you gotta get out and about. I can see this dude's getting out and about. And he got and he's throwing those new adventures in his rhymes, you know what I'm saying? And that's and that's what you gotta do. Or just read books or I can tell he's expanding in his lyrical content. So um keep it up, Edo man. You know what I'm saying? And yo, speaking of um apparel, we got masks, man. We got masks now. I did three designs so far. I did a sincerely yours and blue camel. I did a monkey nuts and green original camel. And I did a um a healthcare one to say thank you to the healthcare workers and stuff and essential employees for everybody, really. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's out there fighting, you know what I'm saying? Whoever's out there surviving. Um Yeah, so remember love over hate guys, man. And uh get this out, man. And did, and get look up these other MCs, look up these other producers, do your homework, man. Y'all, y'all, if y'all like love hip hop like I do, y'all gonna research every and everything, everybody, every name I put on this blog. And all, all the names I, you know, I just said, you know what I'm saying? So respect hip hop, respect people, respect your, you know, your loved ones, your friends, respect people at work. Um, and if you don't like work, man, you better find a couple additional incomes to um, excel, to get you out of there. There's a lot of things you go online. Go on YouTube. YouTube's your best friend. Go on YouTube and just watch videos and don't just cater to one person or one, you know, certain people, certain videos. Maybe on that same subject go to a certain a couple people at the same time like say like this hip-hop like you like oh i'm gonna watch marquis reviews don't just watch mine watch somebody else's watch somebody else watch a couple people's reviews on the same artist so you can get the um gist of like you know who that artist is, is or, or what he, he or she brings to hip-hop you know what i'm saying so um yeah so yo below uh throw your comments down subscribe subscribe um you know what i mean watch my videos share my videos do all that um, it's all over here. Yo, shout out New York for all the dope MCs coming out recently. Shout out Boston too. Wise guys, man. Check out, check out, go check out that album, Wise Guys, yo. For real, man. Check them out for view too. Bean Town.